Hello and welcome. My name is Aram Jaco. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can use XML attribute and XML root attribute to set name on XML elements. So, in my previous tutorials, I have shown how you can deserialize and serialize object to XML. So please watch them before watching this one if you haven't seen them. I will include them in my description. In, uh, in this project I have already pre-made some code. I'm creating an instance of class person and then I'm getting all the persons. And this class looks like this. It has an attribute F name, L name and age. And when it gets all the persons, it returns a list of type person and the persons are pre-made. So it's Aram and Adam. And after that, we are telling an XML serializer that we want to serialize it to a list of persons. And then we are getting the path where the XML file is or where or not is but at the moment where we where we want to create it so we're gonna create it at the current directory of this project and the file will be called people.xml and we use a file stream to create the XML and then we serialize the object person or the list of type person to this file so let's do that first so I'm doing it it's serialized and if we check the file now we go here we can see that we have F name L name and H as elements in this XML tree and the root is called array of P person so let's imagine that we want to ignore age and we want to change these names to first name and last name. Here is where we can use XML attributes. So for example, we go to the person class here and we can say that we have to first off tell the project that we're using system.xml.serialization and then we can put these signs here and do XML attribute and then we can say that the attribute name should be ooh, I think I confused them it should be XML element big my apologies so you can do XML elements and then you tell that the content in F name should be first name so it should be called first name and then we show the content of f name the same thing is with last name so instead of l name we tell it to be named last name and the age we can tell it that we're going to ignore the age so we don't want the age in the xml tree so if we run the project now is creating the tree and if we check the tree now we can see that we now have the first name element and last name instead of F name and L name further we can also see that we are missing age the age element has been ignored in the XML tree so to continue how do we change the name of array array of person that is something we can do when we serialize when we tell it to serialize to type of this person we can also tell it to do a new xml root attribute and the name at root attribute should be person root so if we run the project now and check the file now instead we can see that the root name is now person root first name last name and the age is ignored 
all right thank you for watching this video see you at the next one bye bye